Yo, what's up? It's your boy Bitcher from Brother and the Spot of Mega Hot. You feel me? And today we're going to talk about men and their emotions. You know, you feel me? I feel like this is a topic that needs to be touched on, and I feel like I've really mastered this. Not mastered it, but I really became aware and in touch of my sensitive side and my, as they say, feminine side to be able to express myself as a man. You know, especially as a male man, you know, we struggle with these things because we are taught to always be tough and not cry. So we struggle with expressing emotions because we, 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 deem, we deem any sort of expression of love or fear or sadness as being quote unquote the B, the P word or the B word. So I'm here to tell you that there's nothing wrong with expressing yourself and being vulnerable. Let's just break down the reason why men are so non-vocal or not vulnerable or so so like they don't know how to express themselves. Let me break it down from when you grew up. As a kid, we all know, grow up, male lady, grow up, don't cry. You don't cry. Stop crying. Don't cry. Stop crying. Go on the girls cry. Um go to work. Be tough. Fight back. You just you just it's a certain stuff you're not allowed to do growing up as a melanin man, which is show emotion, which is show any emotion that's not tough to people. When in all reality, the toughest thing you can do is to show emotion because that's actually hard. Act, acting, acting tough is not hard, but actually living in your truth and your emotion is actually hard, you know? Cause you can just, I'm about to, I'm about to just ease off that emotion, I'm act happy. You just acting, it's easy to act. It's harder to actually deal with your sadness and express that sadness, that's the hard part. And that's what makes you tough. It's actually dealing with that sadness. And this is why men are joining gangs or they join different groups because like, they don't got no father, so like, or they don't got a mother or they, they got no family. So it's like, they join these gangs and then these gangs teach them this they out there and they're already so angry because they, they don't know how they already know, don't know how to express themselves they already don't know how to talk so they're just dealing with all this all this trauma and they go on the street and just be killing people or they go on the street and sell and people but they not care because you know we need money or i'm upset so this person did this i'm gonna kill him it's just it's just, it's just we're we are raised we are raised to be killers we are raised to be drugged we are raised to be those people so we gotta, we gotta change the, the formula. We gotta change it up, and and the, and the way to change it is by mental, by attacking it mentally. And it's a, it's a mental warfare. It's not physical. I know y'all think it's physical. None of that is it's all mental. It's a mental warfare out here. It's mental and spiritual warfare out here, and you have to tap in mentally with yourself to even to even be able to to deal with all things. Like people always trying to say, oh. Go to this, go to this, go here, go to church, go do that, do this, go do this, go do here, go here. People always trying to make you go somewhere to do something. They're be like, yo, no, bro, just try to figure it out yourself. Like, why, you, why do I all have to ask for help? I'm always asking for, oh, can I get help? Can you help me? Oh my God, can you help me? Please help me. Somebody help me. I need help. And then go help your fucking self. Stop asking for help. You don't want to ask for help all day. I don't want to actually do the work to get the help or do work to help yourself. You just want to ask, well, I'm going to sit here in my room and ask God to change my life. I'm just sit here and just ask someone to change me or just sit here and just, that's not how shit works. You have to go do it yourself. If you want to change, go seek change. Go change yourself. Go and get up and try to change. Come on, you can't sit here and you're going to pray to somebody. Your life is going to change. That's not how you got to work. Do stuff to reach that goal. Like I said in the last video. Anyways. That's what I was saying. So, so men grow up, you know, we all so tough, and then we then we meet girls. Then we, we get then we meet these females that we do love, we do care about, and we do want to cherish, but we treat them like shit because we think that's cool. We think it's cool to be the big macho man that that's nonchalant down, shows emotions because that's what's portrayed as cool. Oh, we think it's cool to not post your girl on Instagram or whatever, or show your girl off because. We think if you show your girl off, you're showing too much emotion, you're showing too much love. So that's why men don't post their girl or even tell the girl to love them. Because when I was growing up and I was posting my girl, I was like, nah, this BJ Bug, he posting this girl, he's showing too much love. You a, you a lover boy. It's like, you can just, it's, it's not normal to show love or like be a man of 
any type of love and emotion of, or anyway because you always looked as a wuss or a simp. Even the simp thing, they call you a simp. If you show love, you're a simp. Why can I just show love and to be natural? Why gotta be a name? It's always like, in our, in our culture, it's always, it's always bad to be good. Like it, once you're cool, once you're different, you're bad. Like if you if you if you if you smart, you're a nerd. If you if you play basketball, you're a ball player. If if you it's like you just you just never be a, a regular person. You always got to be some type of thing. You know what? If, if you love your girl, you a simp. If you do this, you you, you this. If you do that, you this. If you do that, you this. You always always something to describe you. Like you could just never be a person that just does what he wants. It's always a, a something to describe you. You feel me? So. Yeah, basically that's that's the reason why men don't show emotion because of all those things I just stated. Because even when you show emotion, it's just it's always relate related back to you being some sort of soft, and or some sort of oh you're not cool or you're not tough or you just you just you just you're just, you're just like feminine because you actually could gather up the strength to tell somebody how you feel, and then. Back, back to back to the relationship thing. The, the relationship. The reason why a lot of relationships don't work is because no one talks. No, nobody, nobody's talking. Nobody's, nobody's talking. Nobody's letting you know what's going on. Let nobody's talking. And if someone is talking, the other person is not understanding, and then the person just stays and just deals with the not understanding. Then they're gonna change. If someone not giving you signs of change, you shall leave that person. If someone is not giving you signs of change, friends, family, anything, leave that person alone. Because the opposite is not for you. That's the that's one thing I'm giving you out there. If someone's not, if you asking someone, you telling someone the issues, and that person is not trying to fix it or not, is not comprehending what you're saying. They can hear you, but they must comprehend. Everyone can hear. We all have ears. But not everyone can understand. We all have ears. We all listen to people all day talk this and say this. But do we understand? They don't be understanding. They be hearing you, but they don't understand. If they hear you, they don't understand. Bye bye. You're not worth my energy. Deuces. You got. You got to explain to people. They know what they doing. They ain't stupid. People ain't dumb. We all adults. So people know what they doing. They ain't stupid. Well, that's what I say now. Then you meet these girls, right? And then and then we think it's okay to to not show them love or not tell them how we feel or not tell them what bothers us. You feel me? And when we do, and when when you do meet a guy that does tell you about us and that you do, or, or when you do meet a guy that that is honest, and when you do meet a guy that that does tell you everything how he feels and what he's going through girls look at it oh stop complaining oh you always complaining you always got something to think about you always make yourself a big deal then this leads to men i'm, I'm okay i'm complaining too much i don't want to don't say shit then he just then then, then, then then the guy just stopped talking and now i was like oh my boyfriend don't talk to me no more and then what but when he tried to talk to you he pushed him away so it's like it's like it's like 50 50. Men have to be willing to be open, but women have to be willing to accept a man being open. Like, y'all want us to be open, but don't accept us when we're open. And then when we go back into our shell, and now we're, now we're, oh, we're, we're, she's too, he has no emotion, he don't show any emotion. But when we do show the emotion, the emotion is taken as me being, me doing too much, or me loving too much, or me, it's just always seen that too much. That's why I say, you must find somebody that is on your same energy, that on your same vibration, that's on your same wavelength, or that's on your same time, and as we say, and talk to them, and 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 build with them. That's why it's always too good to be friends for as long as you as long as you possibly need to. It's no, there's no the friend stage should even stop because y'all should always be building our friendship because the friendship is what even builds y'all to even be a girlfriend or a boyfriend. It's the friendship. The friendship is the, is, is is the friendship is the base. The foundation of, of any girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever y'all want to call it is the friendship. As long as y'all friends, nothing else should shake that friendship. But the friendship should be the friendship should be strong in the relationship. Cause the friendship is the foundation of the relationship. That's why it's called boyfriend, girl, friend. And the day that is your female friend. That is your one of your best female friends. That's one of your closest male friends. Boyfriends or girlfriends, so you that should be your uh, That's why the friend being friends is so important That's why it's okay to be friends with somebody else, however as long you want to be friends with them There's no stage or months or none of that or puppy stage or whatever y'all they told you how to be call it Just live your life. How you supposed to live your life and be honest and be open So men, please um practice that practice find somebody If it's a girl or a boy or or a teacher or somebody 
that you feel like you can really tell all your stuff to and they're going to listen and understand and give you advice or just listen. Because sometimes you don't need somebody to tell you, you just need somebody to listen. So if they can just listen to you, talk to them, bro. Get all that stuff off your chest, off your mind. Because it's very detrimental to how you feel and how you walk through society, how you walk through the world. And then now your, your self-esteem is low, your self-confidence is low. Then you have to buy all these things and buy all these clothes and buy all, this, all these cars and jewelry to make yourself feel better. When all you got to do is talk and tell people how you feel and tell people what's going on. That's why men always buying shit and gotta, we got to be fly because the girls like when we look good. And bro... A girl posts lucky for you. Someone posts lucky for you. Not what you have. Not what you bring. They supposed to like you for the person you are. If a person only likes you for what you have or what you bring to the table, they, then they don't like you. They like the material you you. Find someone that likes you for you. I don't got nothing to show nobody. I dress very simple. I keep my clothes very cheap because I don't need I don't need to look flashy in this. I'm, I'm, I'm fleet. I dress the way I want to dress because I'm me. I love who I am and I... And I express myself in that way. A lot of men out here buy stuff because girls like it. They buy stuff because girls think it's cool. I buy what I like. If a girl likes she likes, if she don't, she don't. I don't care. It don't matter to me. Girl, somebody gonna like it. A lot of y'all move around the world looking like other men all day. Y'all all, all, all trying to look like each other. Y'all all trying to be the same. Like, oh, none of y'all trying to be different. None of y'all trying to do nothing different. Y'all not trying nothing different. We're all doing the same things. Trying to be different. Be yourself. It's okay to be yourself. If you wanna, if you wanna wear baggy sweatpants and white tee all day, wear it. Be yourself. Live in your truth, bro. Cause that's gonna ultimately make you happier. For females too, y'all all do dress the same way, do the same shit. Wigs, makeup, y'all all go outside, do the little weird, do the same shit. Nobody, nobody's different. Nobody even tries to be different, or try to dress a little different, or try to think a little different, or try to be open minded or something. All y'all do the same shit. None of y'all try to be different. Try to be different. Try to do something different. Like, damn. It's like, I be seeing girls all do, move through the world the same way. Same thing as guys. Y'all all wear the same clothes. Y'all all matching together. Nobody's different. Y'all is walking through life, dressing like y'all look like mannequins in the same store. You feel me? Like, come on, be different. Anyways, back to the topic. To men being, um, showing emotion. Yeah, men, show emotion. Show your try. It's try. Just try it. Try it. Just try it for me, for yourself. It's gonna make you feel better. Just do your thing and try. Attempt. Attempt it. Attempt at it. Like, just try to do your thing. It's gonna help you. Like, just do your thing. I'm telling you. You have to express all all emotions. Find somebody. Or even express to, if Even if you just write, get a diary. Fellas, get a diary. It's okay to get a diary or a journal. Or write in your notes. It's okay to do these things. These things are not weird or... Or, or or not cool because you just, bro, that's, if that's you, if that's your vibe, do that. Be yourself, bro. If you want to tell your girl you love her every day and yeah, post it on Instagram and do whatever y'all do and make sure you do that, bro. Be living your truth. That's going to make you happier. If you want to if you wanna play ball for the rest of your life, play ball for the rest because it's your life. People can't tell you how to live your life, bro. Y'all yeah, live your life for other people all day. Y'all dress for people all the day. Be yourself. Live how you want to live your life, bro. Be happy, bro. You feel me? Get a girl that you can trust or somebody you can trust and talk to them, tell them, express them how you feel. And females, you must learn how to accept your accept male emotion. And accept when a male comes to you to, to vent you. you. Accept that. Don't push it away. Don't, sh don't say he's complaining too much. Because when y'all complain it all day, we don't make it a big deal. We listen to y'all. We try to, we don't listen, but we hear y'all. Yeah, we only listen sometimes, I feel you, but you feel, you feel me? If, if you got a guy that's trying to listen and understand, when he complains to you too, listen and understand, don't push it away. Don't shy away as complaining too much or you're being a girl right now. Don't say that to him, because then that's that. Then he's, you, you kill his whole entire, like, you, you kill his heart when you tell a guy, you, oh yeah, like you, you complain too much. It's like, damn. Only said one thing and I'm playing to him. So it's like, I don't, I don't like him to say nothing no more. Then now he go out to talk to other girls. Because it's, it's just, it's, it's all becoming into a big cycle. And then he just, it just, it ends up bad. Because now he's depressed and sad because he can't tell nobody how he feels. And it'd be, be the first girlfriend fault. And he goes on the line of being a bad boyfriend because he's not telling about how he feels because you scarred him for life. And now he can't talk. You feel me? Make your boyfriend trust you. Uh, make your female friend trust you. Make some tr find somebody you trust, or make somebody be able to trust you to talk to you and tell them how you feel. Cause we all go through stuff, and we all need to talk. 
So, yeah, M males out there, express yourself, be yourself, learn how to be vulnerable, learn how to talk to somebody. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay. Like I'm, I, I'm here talking to y'all. I'm the most manly man. I, I'm the most manly man ever. I don't feel no less of a man telling people how I feel. I feel more of a man. I feel way better telling people how I feel. Or telling my bro, like, yo, bro, I don't like that you did that. Or yo, 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 sis, I don't like how you did that. Just tell people how you feel. Because that automatically that's going to change. Your, that's going to make your life better. That's going to make you happier because people are going to start changing. You want know, someone to tell me, bro, I don't like that with you. I don't like that way you do that, bro. I don't like you do that. I don't like you do that, sis. Like, let people know what's going on. Let them know how you feel. If they don't change, copy. How do do your thing? How do I be you? I don't need you, you know? Feel me? So, yeah, man. Protect your energy, but also be willing to express yourself. You know, give who give to you, love who loves you, respect who respects you. you. Feel me? Don't give out people. Don't don't help people. Don't help people. You feel me? Always put yourself first. Be different, bro. Out the spot. Don't make it hot. I love y'all. Live li love life. Live live life you love. I'm out.